Roop, 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 roop a man. Roop a man here with a quick tutorial video on the Rupee wallet. Over the past few days, a number of people have come to me and said, Roop a man, I have a backup of my Rupee wallet, and I just don't know how to go and replace the file so that way I can see my, my coins in my previous wallet addresses. So whether you dropped your laptop and it burst into flames, or you got the blue screen of death, as long as you have a backup of your Rupee wallet, um, you can use that and still get, have access to your coins. So the first thing, of course, is to download the Rupee Wallet. You can download the Rupee Wallet from rupeeblockchain.org. Now the steps I'm going to walk through here are specifically on a Windows machine, Windows 10 specifically. They should be very similar for Windows 7, 8, and 10. Um, Mac should be very similar as well with the exception of the folder location, which I'll put up here on the screen when we get to that point um, of where you will find the wallet.dat file for the Rupee Wallet. So the first step is, of course, to download the Rupee Wallet. Once it's downloaded, you'll see that I have the regular default um, address it gives you when you first download in a, uh, a wallet. So we're gonna, we should see these change to my previous addresses after I replace the wallet.dat file with my backup. So here on my desktop, I have a wallet.dat file. So let's assume that this here is my backup that I want to replace. So the first thing I'm going to go do is I'm going to go to File Explorer. And in this case, we're going to go to our C drive. That's the drive that I have my operating system installed on. From the C drive, we're going to go to Users. And we're going to pick the user that we're currently signed in with. So in this case, Rupo Man. Now the next place we want to go to, the next folder, is going to be the App folder. Um, you'll see that it is a hidden folder, so you won't see it in the list. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and enable hidden folders. We're going to click on View, and we're going to change, or we're going to click on Hidden Items. And we're going to go to the App Data folder, which is the folder that we're looking for. In the App Data folder, we're going to go to Roaming. And within the Roaming folder, we're going to find the Rupee folder. And you'll see in the Rupee folder we have the wallet.dat file. This is the file that we want to replace with our backup. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stop the Rupee wallet. Once we've stopped it, we can then copy over our backup. Just copy it over and replace the current one. Now, of course, be sure when you are replacing your wallet that you are replacing a wallet in fact that you do want to replace it with so sometimes it's a good practice to first make a copy of that one just to be sure there isn't anything you didn't want to overwrite and now that we've copied it over we're going to go ahead and start the rupee wallet back up and now that it is started back up we should be able to go to our receive section and we should see our now original wallet addresses. Now in this example, the addresses I have have here are test addresses and then there are no coins assigned to these addresses, um, which is why the balance indicates zero. Um, however, if your balance of course, or your addresses of course had a balance, um, that would then be associated with those addresses in display. Uh, so that is how you um, replace the wallet.dat file with your backup. Again, if you haven't backed up your wallet, I highly encourage you to back up your wallet um, as well as encrypt your wallet. Um, the other question I, I have been getting more recently is how do I get the private key for my wallet um, within the, the Rupee wallet? So there is a way to get your uh, private key. Um, so to do that, we're going to go to our, we're going to go over to the help tab and we're going to open up the debug window. In the debug window, we're going to open up the console. So the first thing that we need to do before we can get our private key is unencrypt our wallet. Um, so again, I, I really I hope that you do have your wallet uh, encrypted. It is best practice to make sure it's encrypted um, with a strong passphrase. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to unencrypt it so that way your private key can be read and displayed. So we're going to type in wallet passphrase. After wallet passphrase, within quotes, we're going to type our passphrase. Now, again, you do want to use a strong passphrase. This is just an example here on mine, so I'm just going to put in Rupo Man, which is my example passphrase here. 
And then we want to put in how long we want want our wallet uh, to remain unlocked, um, or for that for that uh, passphrase to remain in memory, so it can it can be read and, and be unlocked. So this is just a quick example. So we won't we don't need that much time. So we'll just put in here 600 seconds, which is roughly 10 minutes. Now that our wallet passphrase has been entered, we can now get the private key. So to get our private key, we're going to type in the word or type in the command dump priv key and we're going to put the wallet address we want the private key of so the best thing again is to always right click and copy that so let's say we want the private key for the wallet address with the label of Rupo Man. we're going to copy the address and paste that there and we're going to press enter and then that will give us our private key um, which is in wallet import format um, for that address that we put in there. Uh, so that's it with this quick tutorial video. Again, this is uh, Rupa Man. Um, really just showing you how to replace your wallet.dat file. If you don't have a backup of your wallet.dat file, I, I highly recommend you do make a backup. Um, so that way, in case the inev inevitable happens, such as, again, the blue screen of death or your laptop or computer just bursts into flames, um, that you do have a backup and that way you're still able to access your coins. Uh, and again, it's always a good practice to make sure your wallet is encrypted. Uh, if you do want to make a backup, a quick easy way to do that is clicking on File. And then selecting Backup Wallet. And then placing your, your uh, and then giving a name and selecting a location you want to do that backup at. So again, just a quick and easy way to, to make a backup. Uh, again, highly recommend it. Uh, it's always good to have, uh, in my opinion, several copies. Um, I'm not always on the same PC, so uh, maybe on a USB drive or somewhere away from the computer. So that way if something does happen to your computer, you still have a copy of it that you have access to and can uh, get back to your coins that you have associated to those wallet addresses. So again, this is uh, Rupal Man with a quick tutorial video. Thanks again for watching, and um, have a great day.